to get the area, I did side A plus B times height divided by 2, which is 1 is 4 centimeters, and base 2 is 7 centimeters, and the height is 6 centimeters. Then I put the base 1 and base 2, 21 plus 9 divided by times height divided by 2. To get the area of the trapezoid, I had have to divide 315 by 2, and that gets me to 157.5 centimeters. We're going to be finding the circumference of this tree, so we have to find the diameter. Oh, and the formula is C equals pi times diameter. The area for pi is radius squared, which the radius is what we just got, 6.28 times pi. So that would be 6.28 times 3.14, and that equals 20. So 20 is our area for this bush here. To figure out the diameter, I used the ruler, and I got 7.2 centimeters. To figure out the radius, you have to do the diameter divided by 2. Next, my pool area. The first side is 11.5 centimeters. And my length is... 7.5 centimeters. So 11.5 centimeters times 7.5 centimeters equals 86.25 centimeters squared. I know that the sun provides nutrients so the plants can grow, so I'm just going to grab the plant. <laughs> and move it into that part of the food web. And then the rabbits are herbivores, so that means the rabbit will be eating the plant. And then the fox will eat the rabbit. And then the bear will eat the fox. The purpose of this presentation is to show young children how to get dressed for the winter. This is for JK and SK students. Now, stack your tower. Stack the two piles of cups to a big tower like this. If you're having trouble, just look at the screen. You're starting by four, three, two, and one. First, dribble the ball a couple times until you're ready. And then go where you want to shoot, crouch down, and shoot, and aim for the net. I made a title page with my name, title, date, and picture. I did do that. I included a purpose or audience for my presentation. Yes. I listed all materials and or ingredients. Um, yes. 